Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video and this one we're in chat LLM teams and I'm going to show you why I think this is the best AI image generator on the market. It is absolutely amazing. I have recently done a series of videos showing you some of the incredible things you can do with this app here. You can do code editing. It's an AI code editor. It's an AI video generator. It's an AI image generator and so much more. Let's take a look at it, guys. Let's dive in. Here we go. In this video, I'm going to focus on my three favorite reasons why I think this is the best AI image generator, but these are not the only reasons. These are just my top three. The first one here, while I'm logged in, I'll quickly show you here. It's easy to use, unbelievably easy to use. Click on image and then presto, select your model, type in your prompt, and you are off to the races. It's literally one click. We'll go into detail on that in a few seconds. The second reason why is it has all the best models in it. Look here. When I click on that again, you'll see here that I've got Recraft selected, but I have access to Flux 1 Pro, Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, Canny, Depth, Dolly 3, Recraft, Ideogram, etc. They've got the best models, including the premium models, top shelf stuff here. So this isn't just another quick wrapper on open source stuff. They've got the best stuff, including the paid stuff. And the third reason, and maybe the biggest one, is it comes with so much more. Not only do you get AI image generation, you get a lot of it. Watch this here. You get AI video generation. You get humanizing. You get code analysis. You get code editing, an LLM code editor. You get smart searching here. You get access to all of the best large language models. This is an absolutely insane deal, and it's half the price of a chat GPT license. I'm not kidding. This is absolutely nuts. Let's get into it step by step. Here we go. All right. Now, before we start cooking it up and making some images, you got to sign in. Easy to do it. Head over to their website, abacus.ai. Link, of course, in the description, and you're going to see chat LLM teams. You'll also see up at the top here. I, before I click on that, actually, let me make a note here that it comes with code LLM. If you're a developer or you plan on developing or just creating some code, it comes with a free, at least at the moment, it's got a free AI code editor and it is fantastic. And yes, you can talk to all the large language models in the code editor. I've got videos on it. It's wild. All right, to log in, all you gotta do is just click on the button here and boom, here we go, chat LLM teams. I'll note again here that it's $10 a user and like I said, guys, ChatGPT alone by itself is 20 bucks a month. So for half the price, you get 10 times the functionality. It's an absolute steal. I have no idea how they do it. It's crazy, but hey, it is what it is. All right, click on Get Started, and now let's start creating some AI images. All right, once you're logged in, you should see a screen that looks like this, and let me tell you, it is easy to use. This is the first big thing I want to talk about here is just the absolute easiness and the UI, the UX, it's super simple to follow. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab on the left side. If you see here, I have been doing a lot of work with this tool, but uh, let's close that up and let's have full screen here. So the first thing to create images, you want to click on this image button here. <laughs> Captain Obvious just checking in here, guys, but click on image and watch this. It says here image generation. I love this because there isn't a whole bunch of pictures and spinning and, and flashing things. It's right there. It's easy to use. It's one click, literally. Now, the next thing here, I'm going to click on the little button here, and we can select our model. As I said here, they've got access to the best models. And here we go. Flux 1 Pro, Ultra, Canny, Depth, Dolly 3, Recraft, Ideogram. Depending on what you're looking to do, I'm going to start off with Flux 1 Pro Ultra because that's the one I use the most. And actually, it's Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra. It is the latest release, and it is awesome. So here we go. Let's just type in a prompt. Let's just start it off. French Bulldog reading a book on the beach. Oops, let's just type something in with a with a purple hat. Okay, we're gonna have some fun here. Okay, something like that, okay? I mean, type in whatever you want here, that's not the point. The point is, easy to use. <laughs> Click on that here, you'll see here we've got some options. Modify the input prompt for improved image generation results. What is this? It's basically, if you're not a prompt engineer or if you're just looking for some creative ideas or you wanna give you know the system some latitude to just come up with some cool stuff, leave that on if you want it to be specific to your prompt and you don't want to go outside the prompt and you know you just know exactly what you want turn it off up to you i'm going to go ahead and select here generate less processed but better quality images this is just basically for speed if you're in a hurry and you're looking to iterate turn it off if you're not yeah go nuts uh the last but definitely the thing you want to look at here is image prompting what am i talking about basically you can upload an image of your choice you could put an image in here 
and cook with it. So basically you use that as a reference. So I am not going to do this, but in a future one, I might. So something to think about. And here we go, image prompt strength. So this is basically temperature for those of you that are, you know, machine learners and all that kind of stuff. Basically, again, how much latitude are you giving the AI system to go ahead and well, basically create something unique. So if you want it to be specific to your prompt, there you go. Turn the image strength down to zero. If you wanted to jack it right up, go up to 1.0. I'm going to leave that about 0.50. So we're going to leave it right in the middle because I'm Canadian and we don't commit to things. But there you go. And finally, last but not least, aspect ratio. I mean, here we go. This is pretty obvious stuff. 69 traditional widescreen YouTube. But if you've got an Instagram, you can go with 4.3. If you want to go with a TikTok short or a YouTube short, 9.16, etc. Let's just leave it as is. I'm going to click on generate. I'm going to come back when this is done. And then I'm going to show you a couple of the other ones that are in here that are just as good and they're super easy to use as well. All right, welcome back. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow, it cooked and it cooked hard. Look at this image here. I'm gonna click on this. French Bulldog reading a book on the beach with a purple hat. Look at this. This is not only a fantastic image, it's got ear holes. If you want a French Bulldog, you know their ears are ridiculous. They pop up, they stick up like TV antennas if you're old like me and you remember that. And I mean, this is just a wonderful image and it was a piece of cake to create. It was literally one click and one prompt and off we go. So ease of use, very few apps, if any, are as easy to use as this one here. Also, if you wanna download it, click on that little down arrow. Bam, we've got the image, we've downloaded it and we can edit it as well. So we can edit and we can regenerate. If you're not happy with it, click on regenerate. This will go ahead and create it from scratch and it'll rethink it or kind of like re-roll it. If you wanna just edit it, click on the edit button and then you can go ahead and here and type in what you want because it's now using that image, pardon me, as the reference image. So I could go in here and type in, instead of a purple hat, I want a blue hat, something like that. Okay, I'm having some fun here and I can go ahead and click on generate and it will give me a French bulldog with a blue hat. That said, I wanna show you some of the incredible, I guess, other models that it has in here because it's not just one model, they've got seven and they've got seven of the best models. Let's take a look at some of the other ones while I got you. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other models here. And yeah, you'll see that I've got now a bulldog with a blue hat, just like I asked it to. Ah, you know what, they changed the bulldog a little bit here. It's a little bit more English looking and one of the ears is a little bit parked away, but that's okay. You can go ahead and re-edit this as much as you see fit to get what you're looking for. That said, let's go back into image down here and now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of the other ones here. So I'll quickly make a couple notes here. Flux One Pro Canny. Keep in mind that this is the pro version. Some AI, you know, tools out there, they'll use some of the free open source ones. But uh, yeah, Chat LLM uses the expensive ones. Canny, Depth, Ultra, Pro Ultra, etc. These are the big ones, the best ones. Canny is for those of you that have an image and you need to keep the edges, sort of keep them nice and structural. <laughs> you can use the Canny one if you have a image that you want to preserve the depth. So you've got a 3D look to it. You can use the depth one. Also Dolly 3 here. I mean, this one's amazing. This is built by OpenAI. You don't need any introduction to this one. They've got the latest version here. Absolutely wild and Recraft version three ideogram. So I'm gonna go with Recraft just cause I really like this one here. This one's crushing it on the leaderboards. And again, let's just type in another prompt. English Bulldog reading a book on the beach with a pink hat. Okay, all right, we're having some fun here. Again, you can go ahead and modify the input prompt for improved generation results. This just basically, again, gives it some ideas. You can just go ahead and let the AI do its thing. Adjust the size. You can see they've got so many different sizes here depending on what you're looking for. I'm gonna leave it as 1024 by 1024 because that's a nice square and that works for me. And finally down here, look at that realistic digital illustration. If you're into cartooning or if you want it to look with that little bit of that, you know, Pixar type style, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go to photo realistic, click on generate. And again, these are just many more of the models already built into chat LLM teams and they are literally one click. Absolutely wild stuff. I'm gonna show you what we got from this one and then I'm gonna give you a quick tour of all of the other things that are included in chat LLM. Oh, I don't even have to come back. Look at that here, French bull or English Bulldog on the beach, reading a book, pink hat on. Can you do any better than that on a zero shot, one click? No, I don't think so. Absolutely wild stuff. That said now guys, why do I think it's still the best AI image generation tool on there? Because it comes with everything else. Everything you can even imagine is also in here. Let me give you a quick tour, then we'll wrap it all up. All right, last but definitely not least is the fact that you get so much more 
than just AI image generation. I pointed out earlier, look at this here. If we click on this more button, AI video generation. And yes, you get Kling AI version 1.6. This just launched a few days ago. They've got it integrated. Luma Labs, I mean, they've got Dream Machine in here, Runway ML, Hiluo AI, the best AI video generators are in there and they are one click just as easy to use as the image generations for you coders and developer types they've got a whole coding section including their own separate ai code editor absolutely crazy it's called a uh, code llm i made a video about that too it's included this is nuts they've got all of that in here guys if i click on more humanizing if you're writing content for your website or maybe you're a student and you don't want it to sound like a robot wrote it or an AI wrote it, click on their humanizer. You can go ahead and make it sound more human written, literally with one click, screenshot, video analysis. You can do doc generation. If you're looking to create PowerPoints, they've got that with one click here. They've got a PowerPoint generator. Just type in what you want the PowerPoint to be, and you can go ahead and do that. And finally, and definitely not last but not least, you have access to all the large language models. All the state-of-the-art ones are right here. Root LLM. This is a smart search, so if you type in your query or your prompt, it'll send it to the right LLM depending on what you're looking for. For Omni, Sonnet 3.5, 0101, Mini, Gemini 2.0, Gemini 1.4, 1.5 Pro. I mean, it is all in here. Llama 3.3, etc. Haiku, guys. It's absolutely crazy. You've got an engineer. You've got an AI engineer thing. So if you wanted to create an AI engineer, watch this. I'm going to open up the side tab here. You can go ahead and create a computer agent. Crazy stuff here. Click on that here. And bam, now we're in the computer agent. And you can go ahead and use this as an AI agent. Everything you can imagine is in chat LLM teams. They ship nonstop. It's the best AI app on the market. And I honest to God believe that you got to give it a try. Links in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.